When it comes to being able to resist rotation or an isometric uh, static exercise, the first thing that comes to mind for most of us as cyclists athletes are planks, inside planks. Well, today's exercise, you need a single kettlebell or dumbbell and a little bit of time and a lot of knowledge about posture and breathing because we can get you working in a way that's going to massively impact your run and your cycling for way better time and way more power. Oh, you just had to watch, I talked about the plank, or you've been here and you've seen a couple of our exercise videos, but you haven't yet subscribed, and make sure you do that down below. Now today's exercise is what's called an isometric suitcase hold. Now a suitcase hold is simply, or it's simple but not easy, you're just gonna stand with the shoulder blade back and down, holding the weight at your side. Now you'll notice my shoulder blade's not dropping down, I'm not letting it pull forward, and I'm also not overarching my back. Now this exercise is simple, but it is not easy. So here in 2020, well now 2021, a large number of individuals have reached out via email or directly here on YouTube, commenting down below or Facebook or Instagram or wherever I may be saying, hey, I'm getting bored with planks or I'm not really seeing results. What's something else I can do? This is the exercise for you. Now the first thing is when we set up with this, it's very important that we make sure we're keeping our nose, our chest and our zipper in a straight line. Nose, chest, and zipper. Why do we say that? Because it's memorable. So CrossFit, that's what I used to coach. Now, if this is too low for you, where you come down to pick the kettlebell up and you have to round your back, then what we'll do is we'll just simply deadlift the kettlebell up in both hands and then shift it over to one and rotate. How you pick up the kettlebell and put it down is very important. So let's take a look at nose, chest, and zipper. Now you'll notice my, my hips have to shift just a little bit in order to get that. As long as you're not going all the way out to one side, we're okay. So we're gonna start off with the uh, kettlebell on the outside of whichever working side. Well, we've already done that side. So we're gonna switch. It's a light kettlebell, but usually you'll wanna walk around to the other side. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna hinge back, chest is up. I'm gonna crush the handle. So I'm not just grabbing the handle, I'm crushing the handle. If you'd like to see a video about that, make sure you're clicking on the link up above. So I'm coming down, crushing the handle, nose, chest, zipper, shoulder blade back, stand. So you'll notice the kettlebell is out to my side just a little bit and I need to straighten my elbow. Now this is normal for most of us. It's not gonna be something where we can pick up and get great position. When we come up, we're tending to round our shoulders forward. We need to bring that shoulder blade back and down and keep the ribs active. Now from there, you're gonna feel the lat fire, the opposite oblique. Ideally, we wanna stand in single position, keeping that shoulder blade back and down, elbow straight, or with a very soft bend if it's actually a heavy weight for you. But heavy is relative, right? So as I'm standing here talking to you, that's gonna make things more challenging because I'm actually breathing. The same muscles that provide stability in through the back and spine and the entire core, and the core is everything between your neck, your elbows, and your knees, I have to work even harder because those muscles are now being used. They're called accessory muscles. Now, once it starts to get difficult, I can take that hand out to 45 degrees and crush something in that opposite hand, pulling that shoulder blade back and down. This is an old um, strongman competition. You see them walking like this with big, heavy buckets. Now, you notice my shoulder wants to roll forward, but I'm not letting it, and I'm also not flaring my ribs. Now, that's about enough for today. I'm already starting to sweat just a little bit just from holding that, about 45 seconds. This is a light weight for me, about 12 kilos. Usually, I'll do this with 24, 28, if I'm having a good day, I've done it with as much as 60 kilos. Not recently, but that's during that time of the strength training stage of year that it is appropriate. So again, click on a link up above to learn a little bit more about the exercise science. Now, if you found this, this video to be useful in teaching you an exercise called the isometric suitcase hold and helping you get stronger to be able to climb or sprint, Make sure you're clicking subscribe down below and head on over to the Human Vortex training website and download your free gift. Until next time, remember, train smarter, not harder, because it is all about you.